E Magazine presents the capitulation of Cap Francais in 1803. Sometimes people thought because of the current situation that Jean-Jacques Dessalines was a myth. Although some of the paper trails were lost or purposely destroyed, the following newspaper article should serve as a witness for the session of Cape Haitian to Dessalines, general in chief of the indigenous army of Saint Domingue, on the 27th Brumaire, 12th year, or November 19, 1803. Duverrier, adjudant général, charges with full powers by General Rochambeau, commander in chief of the French army in Saint Domingue, and Jean Jacques Dessalines. Commander in chief of the native army of Saint Domingue, agree upon the following terms of capitulation for the surrender of the town of Cape Francais. Article 1. The city of Cape Francais, with all its dependencies, shall be delivered up to General Dessalines in 10 days, dating from the 20th current. Article 2. The ammunition which may be in the arsenals together with the arms and artillery either in the storehouses or forts shall be delivered up to the same order in which they are right now article 3 all the ships of war and other vessels which may be deemed necessary for general rochambeau for the transportation of the troops shall be at liberty to depart on the stipulated day. Article 4. The officers, civil and military, and the troops composing the garrison of the Cape shall depart with the honors of war and with the effects belonging to the semi-brigades. Article 5. The sick and wounded, not in a situation to be removed, shall be attended to in St. Domingue hospitals till cured. They are especially committed to the humanity of General Dessalines, who shall embark them in neutral vessels for France as soon as possible. Article 6. The General-in-Chief Dessalines, in giving his assurance of protection to the inhabitants who may remain in the country, reclaimed by the justice of General Rochambeau, shall be maintained in the enjoyment of the liberties and honors of the country, let their color be what it may, and shall on no pretext be forced to embark with the French army. Article 7. The troops of the two armies shall maintain their respective position until the day fixed for the evacuation of the Cape. Article 8. For the faithful performance of the present convention, the General-in-Chief Rochambeau shall deliver a hostage. The adjutant commandant Urban de Beau and the General-in-Chief Dessalines shall give up a hostage, on his part, an officer of the same rank, done and exchanged in good faith at the headquarters at Eau du Cap Francais, the day, month, and year above mentioned. Signed, Dessalines, General-in-Chief of the Army of Saint-Domingue, and Duverrier, Adjudant General, representing the French General Commander Rochambeau, who was taken as prisoner during the fighting. 